IO match coming up. So the question is, who will come out on top? Who is going to be the king of Lake Erie? And who is going to be the Edmund Fitzgerald of Lake Erie? So we currently got everything all set and ready to go. We're moving to the losers finals. This will be a first to three. The winner of this has to play the person sitting in the winner's bracket, then, Brian Vile. And then reset it all. Brian Vile aiming for fourth place tonight. Aiming for fourth. Hope, hope I can get it. Is this also? I, this has to be a rematch from earlier. Yeah, uh, they did play earlier, and uh, THDB took it 2-0. So let's see if. Uh... Gorgonuts said he needed a minute first. I think he uh, got a little hype, but I guess they're starting anyways. I guess they're starting, Mr. Mustafli. Thank you much for the raid. Party of four. Really good job on your run today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing Toledo proud. Toledo top four. Toledo Toledo consistently getting top four is like it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna I'm, I'll have nice things to say about Toledo at the next uh, pre-show. Round one. Yeah, Whether, I mean it's a it's a smaller smaller town than Columbus, Cleveland, Cincinnati, so uh, pretty good that they're showing up in numbers and winning. You know, getting in the top three consistently. Whether or not I'll have nice things to say about Cleveland depends on how tonight goes. Anyway, back to the match. Gorgameth looking pretty good. That's, has THGB locked down very firmly in the corner. The dominating offensive showing. Oh, good parry by Gorgameth. And a good response with the EXDs. Universal. Oh no, catches him with the fireball, tries to shimmy. Gorgameth, no Don't reason jab. to push it and just wakes up with a crouch and jab. That's what I'm talking about. If you think your opponent's going to potentially throw you, it's almost always better just to throw out a quick button instead of trying to attack the throw. Because the, the way for your opponent to normally beat that, unless it's a meaty throw situation, is to then try to usually do a crush counter. But if you're getting them to commit to a crush counter option instead of a throw, then chances are they're going to get that crush counter meaty, and then the turn's going to be over, which is way better for you. Okay. That's some high level, high level play. It is. Oh man, got a fireball war here. Jumps over the fireball with the knee drop, but no luck. EX knee drop again. Seems to be trying these knee drops over these fireballs. Good spacing on the sweep. Couldn't punish it. Jumping in again? Not sure why Gorgameth jumped in there. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure either. The mystery to everyone. Good way, Tony ties it up. Ooh, gets that crush counter. Converts to the corner, Gorgameth goes. Again, trying to knee drop those fireballs. Bro. There we go. Nice conversion. It's out of the corner, back to neutral. Hey, 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 hey. Seems like THCB is getting a lot of mileage of crush countering Borg trying to throw fireballs. Uh, if that's happening as Borg, you probably want to take another step back before you commit to the throw. Not I'm sorry, commit to the fireball. Not a ton of damage off that mix. Yeah, unfortunately on that uh, second knee drop, he, he connected after the, after the freeze, so. And loses his retrib retribution attempt here. Wake up EX tackle. Man, 
Characters you know look so cool when they're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Gorgamath tries to push the pressure, but not in a range that he can do it. Tony Baker hits him with the fireball. It's uh, Tony up 1 0. First person to three goes on to grand finals. Play against Ryan Vile. Ryan Vile, who is channeling his inner core jam right now. <laughs> like father, <laughs> like son. Woo, these parries! Ooh. Yeah, those are some pretty good parries. A wise yeah, not man as impressive once... as uh, third strike, where you had to sort of be frame perfect, but. Uh, I feel like this game, you definitely have to do a lot of hard reads. There's not a lot of option selects for parries. A wise man you once said that... Parries especially, for sure. A wise man once said, parrying is a fool's game. Says the, says the man who did not play Third Strike. In 5, it is a fool's game. You usually don't want to parry. Usually parrying... The reason why you don't want to do is because the risk-reward is so skewed. Like, for most parries in this game, all you get nice. is a combo. But if you're wrong, you get a crush counter. And it's way easier to be wrong than right with a parry, in this game at least. I agree with all that. I also agree that... Man, V-Trigger! So we were talking about this earlier, like, v just using... Having V-Trigger and being able to use V-Trigger Cancel to basically... Uh, get more plus frames. Uh, just worked for Tony right there. He gets the round thanks to his V trigger extension. I'm waiting for Gork to start like parrying the Tatsus. Yeah, that timing might be a little strict though. He's trying to knee drop, and those knee drops really aren't paying off. The the parries are working for him. The knee drops are not. And he's really efficient for a punish with those uh, ex knees. Could be reversal. That's how you, that's how you should probably be dealing with Soccer's VT most of the time. Just get her off of you and try to keep her distance. Yeah, especially at this point in the match, I agree 100%. I'll be surprised if Ooh, either of these characters get featured. Uh, Gorg could if he takes a throw or two. Oh, he yes. has it now. There he goes. This, this could be big. <laughs> oh, he's uh -oh. not dead! Oh! Oh! Whips the oh. overhead! Yeah, I, I agree with all this. Why? Oh, THTB. Why? Huh. Why? <laughs> you knew. At least I knew it was coming. I was like, why would you right. raw activate there unless you're gonna throw that out there? Especially from um, that range. Nice. This a -A. Is crouching medium into a mix. CP to get out of the mix, but you're getting punished regardless. Let's go. Uh, uh. Man. Those you. combos are so cool. Tony uses his last piece of meter. Oh no. Now Tony, Tony was on fire. I feel like that was Gorgamas game to win and now all of a sudden uh, Tony goes up 2-0. Gorg went for the wake up jab but because of the reel back that Sakura's uh, BT move um, allowed her to whiff punish. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah he, there's a few characters like that where they're their strikes set them out of your range. You know, mm -hmm. you think you're gonna punch each other, but you just punch the air, and uh, then next thing you know, they're right in your face. We uh, we might be seeing the Fong pick from Gorgameth. Is that about time? Well, uh, if you're gonna do it. Fong's an interesting character because you don't see him and he has so many mix-ups. Uh, for people who don't have reversals, it's awful to play against uh, if you don't know the matchup. Unfortunately, Skura has 
a fireball and a reversal, which uh, Fong probably helps quite a bit in that matchup. Yeah, that, exactly. We'll see how he decides to approach this. We're getting the Fong, we're getting the Gil. Getting the Honda. Okay. I oh okay. <laughs> I, yeah. Tell me what you think, Gord. I don't Fight. think I've really ever seen Gord play Honda. In this and kit, CHTB is familiar enough with the matchup that he's not gonna really get surprised with anything. My man's won 50 bucks playing this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> was it? I think it was 25. It was 25. Either way, it's uh. More than an hour's work for a lot of people, so I he feel knows like Gord didn't know going into this that soccer can just punish headbutt like that. This yeah, is... that's he just got so many Sakura has like attacks that are longer than her entire body. Why didn't they give her stubby normals like the rest of the characters? Nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, why'd you jump? Don't jump those. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't jump those. With the health lead that THDB had, he should have just ate the unblockable. He would have been far better off. Now Gorgamath's just like learning the hard way about, uh... Yeah, you can't armor through it. Oh, you can do that though. And mm -hmm. that is an option for certain range. Oh my god. Why'd that work? Why did this work? Why did any of this work? Yes! Yes! Because that's how Honda works. That's what happened. In the scramble. Why did any of this work? I don't understand. You know, even though Gorgama changed characters, I feel like he's sort of doing the same thing. Using, uh, instead of ES knees, now he's using uh, butt slam to get over the fireballs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barely catches him now. The season four characters are wild. Nice. Oh, that's gonna be a chunk of damage. Boss. Four to the corner. Into EX. Oh, he got hit. Oh, he didn't confirm, but he gets the throw. He get clipped. Gorgamath with... on the board. Now it's 2 1 all of a sudden. With Honda? Okay. I mean, plan. Honda is, according to Capcom's combat stats page, he oh, is the best character in the game. You son of a. Mm. <laughs> if you enjoy <laughs> holding the prizing down back, you will love playing Honda. Oh, butt slam. That's Koi. I really hope that Chacho is watching this right now. Chacho has a, a good Honda. I've definitely lost to it. Not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what THCD went for there. It looked like a back fierce. What? Ooh. EX butt slam. Okay. My man, uh, my man Gorgamath out here trying to end the, the dreams of Cleveland. <laughs> Do it. Do it, Gorgamath. As the guy sitting in winners is just watching comfortably from his high chair. That's the beautiful thing about being on winner's side. You just get to watch everyone fight in the arena. Yeah, it's funny because I should be like paying attention. Because uh, I have to play one of these people, but I'm not. Because <laughs> uh, he's commentating their match. <laughs> man, I'm concentrating on commentating uh, more than, oh, Fair how enough. would you counter this? Uh, I can't do two things at once. I'm not Core Jam. <laughs> okay, that reached way farther than I anticipated. Yeah, that was that was like Zangi range. Yeah. I don't even think Ikara canceled it. Oh, God. Oh god. Got a guess? Yeah! He held the unblock Oh my god. You don't hold the unblockable there though. <laughs> Not when you're gonna die. 
Yeah, yeah, um, I, you are correct. So it's tied up 2-2 Gorgamath with the Honda. With the Honda. Honda. Match point for both of them at this point. With the Honda. <laughs> Both of them seem very warmed up. I don't want to play either of them, so I'm hoping maybe there's a power outage uh, at both their houses. <laughs> power outage in Solio and Cleveland at the exact same time? Yes. Oh, gets that jump in. Cleans the jump in. Pushes Go Gorg to the corner. Takes the throw, takes the throw. Holding it. Look at all that pressure. Takes another one. Yep. Good block on the overhead. Normal throw this time. Okay. Let's it go. Let's it go again. He's on the end up. Oh. You can, you can do it. Okay. Oh, no. Not opting for another one. Oh, oh, no. no! Yes. Gorgameth on... Match point to get the reverse sweep against the holy Tony Baker. The reverse OCV <laughs> on THTB. Bars, okay. Bars. Good Don't jump, jump in, in there. Yeah, you know, in that's my head. Oh, that's not gonna hit. Again, when you, in those situations when your opponent dashes, but they're minus after the dash, they won't get hit by the CA. That was a blessing for THTB, honestly. Yeah, now, now it's suddenly looking like... Things you guys are... are wasting all his meter. THTB still thin at two bars. And now he has the advantage going into the last round of Losers Finals. Oh, that minus? Get in oh, there, get no. in there! Get oh, down no. on it! Yeah, time for the crush counter. I'm kind of some... Huh. Be yeah, reversal to push him into the corner. The jab interruption out of the roll. And then the EX hands after, unfortunately, taking a bunch of damage right here. Hit by the Hoka Show. Plus it out with the EXDP. And the oh, back row for it. the stun. That's going to do it. THGB moving back to a position he's all, all familiar with. The grand final seat on the loser side. Keeping the uh, third place Toledo curse alive and well. Congratulations, Toledo, on your third and fourth place finishes. What a set. That was insane. And all because of one wake up super. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's really what did it. But you know what? You're not trying to win. You're trying to bring the hype. And that's what a wake up super no. does. <laughs> win, dang it. <laughs>